This week on Almost Heaven Outdoors. Presented by Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight with uh, nothing but thanks. Uh, we, we really appreciate the opportunity to spend this time together and build these friendships. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We have a dead turkey. Thank you, God. We finally got some good deer on our stealth cams. That's right, and the nesters are in full deer season mode down here in Texas. All right, so I'm back here in the stand this evening where Teddy killed his doe this morning. And he also, after reviewing the footage this afternoon, he had seen a big buck out here in the cotton field where he didn't realize the buck actually laid down. He just assumed it walked off and he couldn't see him anymore. Well, come to find out, it actually laid down. So. We don't know if he's still out here laying down. Teddy had the spot and scoop out here trying to find him, but didn't see anything. But it's really hard to see down in these cotton fields. So, hoping to bring in. He's still there and he gets up and goes back to the woods this evening. Sure enough, he stood up right there in the cotton field and now it's game on.
This segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by Umarex Air Guns. Scentlock, proven deadly. Real world wildlife products, dare to compare. Vortex Optics. All right, so back again, back in the blind. It is super windy and it got super hot today. But as we were driving in, we already seen a buck chasing. So it was maybe a uh, hundred yards past this wood line. So there's still a really good chance that they could come this way into this field. Teddy was like, oh, I think you're wasting your time. Never. Hunting is never a waste of time. <laughs> So hopefully the good Lord is listening and I get to take home a buck tonight with Big Bertha because it's been since August. It is time. September, October. It's been almost three months since I've killed a deer. Three months, so. 72 degrees. Super windy, probably 15 mile an hour winds. Continuous. But the rut's still kicking and the deer are here, so. Hopefully tonight. So not long after getting into the blind, I looked down to the wood line and sure enough, there was a doe and right behind her was one of the big boys. So one of the bucks raptor is finally in here and now all I can do is just pray that he doesn't go the opposite direction. So you can't be serious? This is the second time this buck has done this to me while I'm still filming. decided to come back out tonight because of yeah and the chair not dry it still has more pee on it because we came out here last night and we had that big book Stop. which was oh, beautiful he was beautiful um it just wasn't working out um and i scared him away sometimes things don't always work out but this four-year-old does amazing yeah she's a great hunter so we're gonna give it another try tonight yeah and um Last night taught and me I lessons. And I have a vapor weed in my backpack. And it has one case, so it doesn't have two, only one. Yeah, so we have Vampirina with us tonight. We're giving it, you know, this is round, technically like round three. Um, and we have crackers. We have crackers, and we have God on our side. So hopefully tonight, he's going to come back out close enough for me to get a shot. So I was on the phone when Kyler was doing this and I told her, I said, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you see anything tonight other than coyotes after Kylie blowed on that dual game call. Thank you, sir. Here this evening, I'm here in Texas and it's really windy and it's really warm this evening. Yeah, and the rut is kicking. And the rut is kicking. I said that, Daddy. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but anyways, we're out here. Hopefully, we're going to see 
how the rut is kicking with a big buck coming in because it's been three months. And the big buck has the horns. It's been three months since I've killed a buck or a deer in general. So I'm hoping tonight's the night that big boy comes out. This segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by Anderson Manufacturing, home of the No Lube Rifle. Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. Lethal Products, always lethal. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see what Ted, Kylie, and I are up to. here this evening. I'm here in Texas and it's really windy and it's really warm this evening. Yeah, and the rut is kicking. And the rut is kicking. I said that, Daddy. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but anyways, we're out here. Hopefully, we're going to see how the rut is kicking with the big buck coming in because it's been yeah. three months. And the big buck has the horns. It's been three months since I've killed a buck. Or deer in general, so I'm hoping tonight's the night that a big boy comes out. No. Or if, that, if that just doesn't yeah. happen, a hog might just accidentally run by and get shot. I don't know, but something needs to happen tonight. All right, so I literally just finished up my interview. Kylie was getting situated, and then all of a sudden I look out into the field, and here comes this buck. I believe the one we've been seeing down the fence line. So I push record on the camera, and I swear it was turned red. And I had about three seconds of footage. And it shut off. And in the meantime, I didn't know that, so I took the shot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm shaking so bad. I just shot a monster buck. And I did not push record. So now I know the reason, Mrs. Double Punch. I'm going to send you to hunt with Evan the next time. He came out so fast, out of nowhere. I just grabbed Kylie's Walker Game Air headphones so it wouldn't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So she wouldn't hear. Every single day for a buck, and I get one finally, and I don't push record. <laughs> Daddy's gonna kill me. Daddy! We don't have no much time. Daddy's coming. I see her belt. And I see his hat, and I see his clothes, and I see his pants. It's Daddy! <laughs> Surprise! It's your birthday. Daddy, it's your birthday. Woo! Daddy got, Daddy got a birthday today. That's awesome. Have my good luck charm with her princess one. dress. He's a good one. Can I see him? Yep, let's go see him. Mommy, come on. I saw your hat and your face and your clothes. Can I hold that? Hold on, we're gonna. All right, had to wait on Teddy. Now it's time to go see you this mystery buck that just Daddy, appeared. Daddy, you went too far. He just appeared out of nowhere. I seen him for like five seconds and it was over. So I really don't even know 100% what he looks like, other than he looked really nice, so let's go. He's beautiful, Daddy. He is beautiful, ain't he? Yeah, he's a beautiful buck. Just for the record, Big Bertha did it again. There he is, Buckies. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this, Kylie. Look at this beautiful Texas buck. Bad deer moving his head. Bad deer. What do you think? Bad deer moving his head. This all happened so fast. 
that. I gave Kylie my cell phone for her to start watching something and I looked up, here he comes, I turned the camera on, I could have swore I pushed, you know, record and I gave her her Walker Game Ear, um, hearing protection oh, I wanna hold and then in. I just shot Mommy, I and he dropped and it just that fast and Mommy, then I looked, I yeah, and then I looked and it didn't say it was recording. <laughs> So it is what it is. I'm sure it happens to everybody. I just didn't really want it to happen to me. Can I see the hole? Because I'm so big on make sure you push record. But I guess I can say, Evan, you're not the only one who's done it, buddy. <laughs> this segment of Almost Heaven Outdoors is brought to you by HME, Hunting Made Easy. Boss Buck Feeders, the most versatile and user-friendly feeders on the market. And Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan Kyle with your Mountaineer Insurance Tip of the Week. The first step to having proper protection is to have an agent that understands your needs. As much as we all enjoy getting out in the woods, near the streams, or on the lakes, unfortunately risks and responsibilities go with us. If you're in an ATV accident, having a policy to protect your liability for bodily injury and also the damage to your ATV is critical. Your homeowner's policy does not cover your ATV adequately. We can't choose when an accident will happen, but we can make sure you and your equipment is covered when it does. Thanks for watching the Mountaineer Insurance Tip of the Week. Tune in next week for another tip or check out our website, mountaineerins.com. Amber killed her nice buck. We went back to West Virginia to see the family for a couple weeks. We checked our stealth cams and we had three great bucks show up on our stealth cams. I told Amber, I said, when we get back, that big one is mine. It is December 30th and uh, Amber and I just got back from West Virginia. After hunting this new lease we've got, we hunted it for a month and we've seen a couple really good bucks. <clears throat> so we go to West Virginia for two weeks, come back, check our stealth cams, and have three super studs. We've got an eight, we've got a ten, and we've got a nine. All of them are, to our standards, they're giant deer. Back in the blind again here in Texas after these three giant bucks that we got on camera. Back in the blind here in Texas. This is January 1st, 2019. Happy New Year, everybody. So these deer were starting to make me so mad. You know, here it is going into January and had a group of pigs come out and I just had to do what I do best. So I let the Grindle eat. Back in the blind again. Uh, we sat here for about four hours last night. I did. And uh, didn't see nothing until right at dark. You see that? That means game one. The old Grindel does it again. I love this gun.
Megan. That's it. Hey. He don't look very big. Wait, is he trying a little? He's probably 250 pounds, baby. Is he too little? To what? No, he's not too little. Is he too big now? He he eat a lot of corn, didn't he? <laughs> he probably did. Oh. So Kylie's already went turkey hunting, hog hunting, deer hunting. So we figured, what the heck, we might as well take her predator hunting. So here we go. Yeah, what she shoot it with? The Anderson? The Anderson, yes. That's a five five six, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, well it's let's like go get it. Lot. Let's go get it. Yes.